Hey there, welcome. You're outdoors in the 608. My name is Jeremiah. I really appreciate you. I think there's a squirrel in the wood yard um, stashing his winter food. Well, it's got walnuts stashed everywhere. Kind of weird. Um, but today, is pine fine in three week, three months? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, I posted a video about three months ago. Um, it was the fir very first time I accepted pine for my tree service. Um, I did it because I watched other YouTube videos of people uh, working with pine and uh, they seem to be have great success with it. So I said, what the heck, bring it. Um, and in the in this video that I'll put here, um, I told you I cut and split it. It was extremely wet, I believe one piece that I tested was like 35% on the moisture meter and then another one was 50 and it, after 50 it zeroed out and it did zero out so it was higher than 50% moisture. Um, but I'm going to grab some pieces off this pile here, the stack. It has been sitting here exactly, um, almost exactly three months. Um, I know some of it is white pine. I'm not sure what the other pine is, but I have this pile here. And then all this, I know for sure, with exception for that, it's apple. But all this, I know for sure is white pine. And this was split a couple weeks after that first stack I showed you. So this stuff, is not quite three months, but we'll also test some of this. Let me grab some pieces and we'll get it split and see what the moisture content is. Stick with me. Boy, I tell you what, I'm now good at really chopping wood with a uh, axe, but this Fiskars X27 really helps me. Awesome axe. But okay, so these two pieces I got from this pile here, the original pile in the video. Um, they are split. Test the splitted, the split side. Sixteen percent. Hopefully you can see that. That's awesome. It just it just really feels dry. Well this one had a knot in it, it didn't split good, but it did split that chunk off, so this is fresh. Same, fifteen this one's fifteen point three. I don't know, the end's gonna be different. Same. That stuff's ready to burn. Ready to burn in three months. That's freaking awesome. So now this stuff is from the all white pine pile. This is a fairly big piece, but it's very light. Should be very dry. 15%. Wow. So that was that was a piece with, with no bark, so it was in the middle of the log. This is a piece with bark. We'll test right by the bark once. 15%, test in the middle. 15%. Sure. This stuff is ready to burn.
brush side. Little higher, but still tolerable. 16%. 16%. Fifteen. Awesome. Here's the last piece. This one's got a little bit of more weight to it. It's got bark on it. Still good to go. Fourteen percent. Yeah. Anywhere I test it, it's great. That is awesome news. Well, there we go. I took, got the six pieces tested. I tested with my general moisture meter. Nope, it's not a top test like all the cool guys have. But uh, I'm really surprised and this stuff is ready to sell. So uh, three months, right around three months um, and it's ready to go, that's great. Now I do have this stuff in a prime drying location, probably one of the best uh, my wood yard has. Um, this this side faces south, so it bakes most of the day. Um, so that, I don't know, maybe that helps. Also, um, here in Wisconsin, we are in a mild drought. Um, moderate drought, I think they said, I don't know. But uh, not much rain this summer. So maybe that helps too, but I don't know. All I know is I can sell this pine and be confident it's dry, ready to burn. Um, I even take some pieces up and uh, test it out myself. And I'll show you that in the end of the video. Well, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to give you the three month pine is fine update. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you, as a firewood producer, do you deal with pine? Uh, let me know. I'd be interested to see. Um, pine is new to me and uh, I'm really excited. Although I didn't like splitting and cutting it because it got sap all over everything. But uh, I'm happy I accepted it finally from my tree service and uh, hope to get some more. So with that, um, like I always say, life is great in the 608. Come back next time. We'll see you. Thanks for being here. Have a good one.